SBTV Hello, it's Georgia Lewis Anderson for SBTV, continuing our exclusive backstage footage at Wireless Festival nonetheless. Now I'm with a lady, she's been making quite a few waves across the pond. She's uh, also been an ex-rapper and she's set to do the same thing right here in the UK. Hello, Hester Prynne. Hi, how are you? I'm all right, how are you doing? I'm doing great, I just got off stage. How was it? It was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went on after Scorcher and the audience was like really, really riled up. So I had a bit of a water fight with them. We were like throwing shit at each other and it was fun though. It was like, it was aggressive and cool. Yeah. So I had a good time, yeah. How do you find UK audiences compared to those in the US? Um, I think they're great. I mean, I feel like the audience here is, was really kind of like aggressive and like, you know, wanted to, to like have a fight, which I like because I like yeah. to be aggressive on stage. And uh, the audience of the rest of the tour has been like really chill. Um, in New York, people are a little bit more like, you know, they're a little, yeah, like stuffy and and are there to judge you more, whereas I feel like people here, people are here to interact with you. So that's been really fun. Cool. Well, well, yeah, we love you here. You're very much part of the kind of Brooklyn, like Likey Lee, Santi Gold Yay. and stuff. Um, is there anyone on, on, on the UK that's really on your radar that you want to work with? Oh God, yes. I really um, am dying to do uh, like some remixes with some of like the dubstep guys. And actually here I was uh, talking to some guys and hoping to meet some other people. I have some new music that I'm working on um, that's a bit of like a faster BPM and I really like what's going on here with that. So I'm hoping to uh, work with some maybe remixers or rappers here. Yeah, I was talking to Scream and Benga yesterday and they're looking for someone to collaborate. So that okay. might be good. Oh yeah, we should talk about that after. Yeah, maybe we've got a little mix match here yeah, yeah well, well thank you on the record so yeah i really like that stuff um, and you've been going in a different direction working with a guy from slipknot tell us a bit about that um yeah that's really exciting uh clown from slipknot um heard my music and uh absolutely loves it which was so exciting and flattering to me so i i went to go meet him and i went and saw um his side band play and uh, afterwards we just kind of sat together and like chatted and chatted and chatted and we decided to start by doing a cover of the Butthole Surfers Pepper which is coming out on Tuesday on vinyl which I'm really excited about and we're working on some new stuff too and uh, it's pretty dope like what we did with Pepper was you know he hits so heavy because he's like a, uh, like a big heavy you know like metal dude yeah. and uh, we're kind of like hip-hop people from New York um, making I guess electronic hip-hop kind of music and so what we did was we recorded it really really fast and then we slowed it down so it sounds like big heavy hitting but slow so it's like like a big meat being pulling meat apart that makes sense anyway that's what I'm doing with clown I want him to like hit hard and we're gonna slow it down and uh, and make it fat so. so your new tune sounds a bit like pulling meat apart it sounds amazing yeah it sounds a lot like pulling meat apart that's yeah. what I kept saying to him yeah yeah I kept saying I'm like it's like pulling a sinewy piece of meat apart it's a big heavy hard sound that you're pulling apart so. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and I want to talk a bit about your past. Obviously, the stuff you're doing now is great. But I um, used to be in a white girl rap trio, Northern was, State. Yeah. That's quite an original thing to do. Yeah. Um, how, how was the response to that? Um, it was great. I mean, it was. I was in that band for many years, for almost eight years. And, um, you know, we worked with everyone from Cypress Hill to the Beastie Boys and the Roots. And uh, it was it was a challenge always when we came over here. I think the first time we came over here, we came over with the Roots and Questlove came out before the show because he, he loved us. And he... Uh, Everyone clapped and he said to the audience, this is in Manchester, I want you to do me a favor and be really, really open to this band. They're really important to me. And so people didn't boo us off the stage that night, but we got booed off the stage every night on the Roots tour. But then we, we, we worked it up and we put out a record on Wichita and a video and stuff and it ended up being really good. It's actually, it was really fun to come here and play this show because I, I was playing on a real hip hop stage and there's like these hip hop fans and I'm like, yo, I used to be a rapper yeah. like I'm down I can fight you guys even though I'm singing and I'm all like you know girly now yeah. so it was fun yeah oh cool um, and today we're doing the new era cap of truth okay. would you be up for having a question yeah of course yeah. let's go for it thank you all all right what's it gonna be oh my goodness is this, is this gonna be like who did I lose my virginity to um, they might not be that bad you know you never know what you're gonna I'm get because I'm still a virgin Are you? yeah <laughs> exclusive Miley, Miley Cyrus still a virgin <laughs> Waiting for the right person. Have you ever kissed, made out, or talked with an inanimate object pretending it was your crush, boyfriend, or girlfriend? Um, 
I don't think so, but when I was uh, 16, my actual boyfriend was Adam Levine, who's now the lead singer of Maroon 5, because we went to uh, like a performing arts summer camp together. So there, there's, a, there's a secret for you that I haven't told anybody. Ooh, now we know. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Best thank of luck with everything, and I'm sure you're going to do very, very well. Thank you so much for having me. All right.